Hello guys, welcome to PC One. In this video, I am going to review Readable, which is an alternative of Airtable. Readable is a data management platform that lets you visualize, manage, and analyze your data to create smart apps that boost your productivity. They are running their lifetime deal on AppSumo. The single license tier pricing is 49 USD. Here you can have five users or team member, unlimited workspace, and 50,000 records per table, 10 GB attachment space per workspace. And if you need more user or team member, then you have to upgrade to more licensed tier. And they have gotten here 28 five star reviews. So I think the software is really good, guys. Everyone is giving here five star review. Everyone is saying that the software is really good. Now, without further doing, let's go to the dashboard of uh, Readable and let's explore how things work here and how it can be helpful for us. See, so guys, this is the dashboard of Readable. In the dashboard, you can create as many as workspace you want to create and you can organize all your uh, business on a single dashboard actually as you can see i have created one workspace which is space event one to create new workspace what you have to do just click here add workspace and then you will get this type of interface you can create the workspace for your personal use you can also create for your organization and if you create uh, for the use of your organization then you can use here your organization's branding how you can set up your organization inside this Readable that I will show you after some time. So let's say we will create one workspace for our organization. So let's say our organization name is App Sumo, and then workspace description you can give. Let's say uh, here is the uh, deals uh, list of App Sumo. Let's say this is my uh, description. Any description you can have here. And after adding this workspace name, what do you have to do? You have to add the project name. That means inside one workspace, you can create as many as project you want actually. And see here, the project will be, let's say project, uh, project one. And here you can also insert the project description if you want. Now here, see, you can build the project from scratch. You can import document. You can start with a template. So let's say we will start with a template. There have a lots of template guys that I will show you now. See if I go to the template section here, you will get a lots of templates. See, there I have HR and recruiting template, application tracking template, team workload planning template, interview question template, then employee talent development planning. And if you want to see any template, then just click on the I button and then you will be able to see the preview of this template. See, so this is the preview of this template. So, in this way, you can see the preview of any template that you want to see. Actually, there I have employee scheduling, there I have project plan template project task and planning template, team responsibility planning template, that I have social media planning template, guest blogging planning template, that I have email marketing metrics tracking template. So lots of templates are available here. You can just click on this, use it, and you can use it. Also, you can get access of them from here. Just click on this select, and then you will get all the template list here. From here, you can also select your expected template. Also, you can search your expected template from here. So let's say we will use this one, remote employee uh, list so i'll just click on this use it and you can see the preview of this uh, template also from here see this is the preview see guys here this is the preview of this template so let's say we will use this um, template actually here so these are the things and this is our project name now i'll just click on this build now and then it will be built see guys here this is our spreadsheet or this is our project there have a lots of features that can be useful in case of your productivity and in case of your organization actually see here is the table and this is the name and uh, shar name then job title department you can uh, add a different department actually you can add here drop down and then they have the supervisors of this person phone number email address address then they have uh, more column let me show you see they have address and request if you want to add new column just click here on this plus icon and then here you can add new column let's say new column will be join and date join date and here you know, column type you can select uh, text number checklist image attachment date time uh, color email phone number percent currency uh, rating etc etc you can add let's say i will add here date and time and you can make it record you can make it unique also you can mask the data also from here and you can also change the um, date format from here see there have three different date format you can include time also you can also add one default value here if you want hope you get idea so let me click on the save and then let's say i want to add the image of this employee also just click here on this plus icon and then let's say 
image image and here you can add the image see here the column uh, type is uh, image and let's say it's also record and then save it see in this image column has been added after that let's say i will add another column here here just click on this plus icon and then uh, here let's say i'll give the name of this column is let's say from here i will add the salary so here i will add salary and then uh, it's record let's say and um, currency symbol let's say dollar and it will be integer uh, yes and you can make it unique you can make it mask data also hope you get idea you can allow negative number but let's say in case of salary we will not allow any negative number and then just click on the save so in this way you can add here as many as column you want and they will be completely organized actually hope you get idea guys and see there have this is one uh, workspace remote and then this is another personal uh, information let's say see here is the personal information and in the same way if you want to add new uh, section or new tab just click here on this add new and uh, empty table you can import a csv or xls file you can import from retable also you can import google sheet also here so let's say we will import here one csv file so just click here and then here we have to upload the file so let me upload here as you can see from here i will upload let's say this one this is one csv file that i will upload mock data and then i'll just click on this upload they will be uploaded see guys it has been uploaded here is the id first name last name email gender ip address airport card um, maybe this is um, let me show you what is the column name this is actually an airport country code then here i have the image url then there have the company name construction encrypted data language university so lots of data are available here hope you get idea guys and now the thing that i will show you other feature is column let's say you do not want to show one column let's say you want to hide this column which is job title so just from here just disable this job title they will be hidden see now the job title column is not available here if whenever you will be needed it then you can enable it and then it will be present here again hope you get idea and you can rename the column from here you can customize the column you can duplicate the column let's say we will customize the column so just click here and then you can change the uh, title or column name you can change the column type from here you can make it required you can make it unique uh, you can add default value and validation also here now what is this validation means this option uh, allows to determine rules for uh, data validation so if you enable it then you have to add some rule here see minimum character let's say minimum uh, four character you can add more rules actually here as many as validation rule you want to add you can add actually here hope you get idea i'm not adding right now but you can add if you want so in this way you can save it and you can customize your columns if you want hope you get idea after that they have short so let me go to a new or bigger data then i think it would be more helpful to show you the data let's say i will go to this short section and from here you can um, short the id first name last name email gender so uh, all the columns you can select so let's say i want to um, maybe short the uh, first name and let's say in ascending order and apply and see all a are at first then we will get the b maybe let me show you see all b in the second position and all c in the third position so in this way you can short in different way actually see the first name is in ascending if we want to create a descending see now we will get the descending value see at first z then y then x then w so um, these are things actually hope you get idea you can also pick another column just click here and then let's say here uh, i will make it let's say uh, last name and i will keep first name ascending and last name also ascending and then i'll just apply it and see here this is the first name and this is the last name so in this way you can filter your data in different format actually hope you get idea i'm deleting these things but you can short your data in this way by using this feature after that they have filter see they have and operator or operator let's say i will uh, use here or and then select let's say id contains not id let's say uh, email contains uh, let's say email contains maybe eight email contains eight or let's say um, gender is gender uh, let's say i'll select contains is is not is empty is not empty uh, a lot of things you can uh, insert here actually 
let's say I will insert contents and then it will be let's say mail and then just click on this apply then let's see what we find here so guys uh, these are the filtered data this um, uh, person's uh, email have eight I think somehow um, may, let me show you email contains eight so I have to um, find here the emails that contains eight let me show you so here I'm not seeing actually eight in anywhere in the email section I'm not sure why they have provided it um, here we are seeing the gender female but we have selected uh, here male let's say is is and then let me apply it and then let's see what we can find uh, but it's still I'm finding here male female in mixed way I'm not sure whether this filter option is okay it will work I'm extremely sorry guys we have used here or if we use here and then maybe the both condition will be applied let me show you so the both condition is not uh, applying in any of my data let me delete one let's say I'll delete this email and then apply then I will get all the data who have female or male actually I think as you can see I have selected male but I'm not getting anything okay let's say um, is okay let's say okay gender I will not use I will use let's say uh, company name contains and let's say Google let me find Google and then let me apply and let me see if I can find any data okay I'm not finding any data with that also so let me delete it and then let me bring here the all data and then let's say I want to find the person who have this um, word idli so I'll just copy it and then I'll filter it and then this is in the column of first name right so I'll select here first name contains and this word I'll select and then I'll just apply then let's see if I can find yes I can find so previously it was not working why because um, my filtered condition was not masked actually here hope you get ideas so in this way you can also do different types of filtering here and you can get access of your data in very easy way after that they have group and if I uh, select here one group let's say email ascending let's say in ascending and apply and then here you will get all the emails in group we see here are the emails this is email and this is their ID their name first name last name email their gender their IP address their uh, airport country code so these things you will get in the um, group uh, view actually see here in the group view actually it is and let's say you do not want the email in the group you want maybe another thing let's say you want um, uh, airport country code and then apply and then see uh, for a there have only one person for a if there have uh, three person uh, so these are things see for uh, er there have total 20 person uh, so these are things in this way you can create different group of your data actually here in one or two click hope you get idea guys after that they have format and there have different formatting option actually you can bold it you can italic it let's say i'll just click here and then i'll bold it see it has been bolded i can italic it i can underline here i can add here different mm, colors i can add here different field color as you can see the color has been changed so in this way you can also change the colors you can change the formatting of any column or any row if you want you can also add uh, conditional formatting let's say uh, i will write like here um, airport country code if the airport country code contains let's say us then what we want uh, we want to change the color of this um, let's say cell so i'll just click uh, let's say i'll select this color and then i'll apply and then see this um, people's um, airport code is usc uh, it will be selected or it will be um, marked automatically see here they have been marked now let's say i want to create another format so add format and then let's say airport country code contains you can also select does not contain is is not is empty is not empty let's say one uh, insert here maybe ca uh, canada and then i want to make their color let's say um, here this color and then i'll just click on this apply and see they have been marked automatically here so these are things actually hope you get idea in this way you can use this formatting feature i really like it 
and then they have column style you can change the column style also from here if you want i'm not uh, changing right now but you can change what you get idea after that if i just click on this plus icon here you can add new row as you can see to add new row whenever you will click on this plus icon you can add new row you can insert the id first name last name email gender ip address all the information then one new row will be added so if you want to add or if you want to insert any new data on this spreadsheet just click here on this plus icon and then it will be added you will get the feature or you will get the interface here you can insert the information and then they will be added here automatically hope you get idea you can create multiple tab here as you can see this is our first tab this is our second tab and this is our third tab after they have different view now i will show you different view let me show you guys let's say here i will um, show you the grid view so if you just click here on this plus icon then grid view will be created so guys here this is the grid view and then they have the chart view let's say i'll just click on this chart view and then on chart view will be created see guys this is the chart view and here you will be able to see the chart view of your data and then they have the calendar view if i go just click on this calendar view then join date yes join date um will be done and done and on the join date you can see the data actually but in my case i haven't set up any join date right so let me show you let me set up here some join date then the calendar view will be shown more precisely i think let me click here let's say it will be this date and it will be in this date let's say this date and then it will be let's say this date so in this way i will add some join date and then i think i will see here um, more precise data in calendar view let me add guys just to it sometime and uh, this is the uh, last one i think yes this is the last one let me show you so these are the things now if i go to the calendar view see on these dates i can see this person's data actually hope you get idea guys about this calendar view after that they have kanban view if i just click here on this kanban view here you will all be able to see the kanban view also you can uh, drag and drop these views from here anywhere to anywhere if you want and then you can create new stack if you want from here just let's say i'll um, here let's say best employee and then uh, save and then here let's say i'll drag and drop this person to this best employee section so in this way you can create different view they have card view they have form view also so these are the things actually see these are the card view and if you add the image then it will be shown um, more beautifully let me add some image guys then i think you will be able to see it more beautifully let me show you here in the image section i will uh, upload some image actually just click on this plus icon and then select some images from here let's say i'll select maybe this image and then upload it and then it will be uploaded as you can see um, it's uploading so it's done guys and it has been added here and similarly i will add another image let's say in this section i'll just upload another image so guys i have uploaded here three images you can upload all your columns image here now from here if i go to this card view then here um, i hope i will see the images of the employees but here i'm not seeing the images it would be nice if they add uh, the image also then the view will be more beautiful actually as you can see here are the images if i can see the images of my employee here then it would be more nice actually so in this way you can add here different types of view hope you get idea and if i just click here on any persons here you can comment about this person let's say i'll comment based in uh, employee employee and then you can comment about any employee you can comment here actually you can see the history about this person here you can add new column also here just click here and then one new name will be added here see hope you get idea guys about the view section they have different types of views and if you want you can edit the data from here just click here on this icon and then you can here edit the name share name job title everything is editable here actually hope you get idea you can comment about this person you can see the history about this person actually hope you get idea after they have this option project chat and if i just click on this project chat you can chat here with your team member actually here see uh, here hi and if you have any team member they will also see this chat from their in and then they can chat with you hope you get idea and um, another thing that i want to show you there have the share option now you can share the public view that means public can see it 
you can make it editable. That means people who will see it, they can make it um, edited and they can use the data. Now, what this use data means, let's say they cannot modify your data, but they can copy your data. That means they can copy and then they can paste it in another um, section or in another um, readable, but they cannot modify your own data. So you can just enable it. And then if you enable it, then people can use this data also. Hope you get idea and you can make it editable also from here. Only data or all you can also make it editable. Uh, so these are the things you can make public form also and only logged in user can view and submit. You can enable this format or these uh, settings also from here. Hope you get idea. Now, how this form will help you? This form will help you in various way, guys. See, they have the URL. You can provide this URL to people. Let's say I will copy this URL and then I will open it in another window. Let me open it in another window. So guys, here, this is the form. Now, if people fill up this form, then automatically their data will be added on our um, row. Let me show you. Let me add here some information. See guys, here I have added some information, my name, surname, job title, department, supervisor, then here phone number, let's say this is the phone number, and then email, address, request, uh, and then join date. I have added here one image and salary. This information I have added. Now if I just click on this submit, then uh, people can create uh, their online form now. People can update their submission from here. They can return to the form also. And the data that they have added here, see it has been added here automatically. So automatically, you can collect data from others. You can use it as your lead generation um, software also, I think, because see, this Jugo, uh, these things has been added here automatically. Hope you get idea. Now, another thing is you can embed this form on your own website. See, they have the embed code. You have to just um, copy and paste this code on the back end of your website, and then this form will be embedded. As you can see here, this form will be embedded on your website. Also on your form, you honey. Also on your form. Hmm. Also on your website, you can use this form. You can embed this form. Hope you get idea, guys, about this share option. There have a lots of functionalities in this share option. So these are things in the inside this project section. Now, if I show you the more features that are available here in the dashboard, there have these two workspace that I have created. So these are the things actually. Now I will show you the setting, and here have the API. And this API will be helpful in case of various work actually. And if you need this API documentation, they also have. See, just click here on this visit and then you will get the step by step API documentation. Now I'll show you how you can create your organization. They have the organization option. And from here, you have to come to this organization and you have to insert your organization name here, team name, and you have to insert your brand logo, brand icon, your primary color, secondary color, etc. etc. And then they have the sitting. Here you have to insert your organization name and description and then in this way you can add here your organization but in one account you can add uh, only one organization actually it would be nice if i can add here multiple organization but it's not possible actually here hope you get idea guys about this uh, readable software the software is really useful and it's a great alternative of airtable actually i think so if you think guys, you need this type of software which can be used as an alternative of Table, then you can get this readable lifetime deal from AppSumo. I'll give the URL of this readable lifetime deal in the description of this video. Just go to the description of this video and give the 10% discount on this readable lifetime deal. And it's an affiliate link, guys. If you use this link to purchase this amazing deal, I will get a small commission without costing you any additional costing. So if you think, guys, this video is helpful for you, then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal. And the last thing is visit our website www.pc1.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business. Also, join our VIP Lifetime Deal discussion group through the description of this video. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, guys, then please consider subscribing this channel. Thanks again for watching this video.